we're going back to our interior design styles list. This time you're going to be looking for master bedroom furniture. You may pick the same design style you used last time or you might go ahead and be adventurous and explore something new. Now when we look at a student example you can see how this will go. There are specific things that you need to find and, and label. Make sure you label everything. So she's got uh, the light fixture, bedside tables, everything you would find in the section of a master bedroom. Some seating for the end of the bed. And she's chosen the Asian design style and the atmosphere for the whole page. That lovely warm wood and everything else comes together. Even the lovely window design. Now, usually when I'm asking for window design, design. I'm asking for window treatment, not a specific window design, but if that occurs for you, then by all means do that. Now we look at her box drawing though, we don't see any of those features. That comes much later when we put a piece of marker paper over top and start detailing this simple box form drawing. You'll be given a floor plan to follow, some fundamental standard measurements for beds and, and uh, wardrobes, etc. And everyone, everyone will make this same box drawing. The, what will be different though is of course your title, your title block at the bottom. That's going to come from your montage, your photo montage. It's the same one, only printed out much larger so that it will look quite well and quite exciting at the base of your drawing when we put the paper over top and begin to detail it. In this example, her title's a little small and her images have full impact, but, but her labeling is there and that is fine. This one again, a, a small title, but she's labeled everything. We're not including the figure, so that's something you can leave out, but everything else that you see here, and there is a comprehensive list on the documents, everything you see here, you'll need to include. As we go through these various student examples, I really want you to take note of the atmosphere, the very different atmosphere that's occurring in each one. And that has a lot to do with shape doesn't it? These shapes are all rather squarish, as you would expect from an industrial setting, industrial inspired setting. But there's warmth in the wood. There is a lot of metal as well. What's worth noting here is that the way she's laid her pieces out fits very much in terms of atmosphere with the type of design style she's interested in conveying. Next example is in sharp contrast to our previous one. Very different atmosphere, but just as powerful. Everything has pattern and texture. Everything is a little bit alive, isn't it? She's labeled everything. She's chosen, I think, a terrific font. It looks almost hand-drawn, as if it was done with such excitement that she couldn't wait. She had to do it by hand. It isn't. It's a font. It's an actual font. So please don't make up a font or draw this on by hand if you leave it too late. Take the time. Take your time with everything and do it well. Once again, we see a fine example of things being arranged in such a way that it fits with the design style itself. So this is a very subtle design style, contemporary. Everything again is a little bit squared off. There's softness in the bed and the tufting of the headboard and the round light fixtures. Oh, and the drapery, the sweep of the draperies. Now I also want you to notice in all, everything, maybe even go back and look at our previous examples. I want you to look for the one point perspective object that's going to go into our drawing as well. You need a reference picture for that. Now in this case, she's chosen something round and that won't do. This object has to be something squared off so that you can make a distinction between whether it's drawn in one point or two point perspective. A circle would be drawn the same way either way. In this example, even though everything has been laid out in rectangles and squares, 
the pieces inside have very distinctive shapes that vary greatly from the other contemporary and industrial style montages that we've looked at. A lot is very much rounded here, her wardrobe, her headboard and footboard, and her chandelier, her light. It isn't just the arrangement, is it? It's the shapes of the things themselves and the intricacy of them. These are quite detailed and, and very intricate. In this case, she's also chosen two things that she's going to draw in perspective. And when we look at the student examples of the drawings themselves, you'll see how she incorporated them. She has a planter. This isn't round, so that'll work. And she's also chosen a tray that she ends up ultimately putting on the bed. Now, this picture, though, isn't in one point perspective, and that's just fine. When she gets to the drawing, she does turn it around and draw it properly. And we'll be looking at where to find that one point perspective vanishing point on our two point grid when you do your box drawing. This example is industrial and you can see the contrast. She's laid hers out in a very similar manner, but the pieces themselves are clean. They're not as intricate or detailed. They do have detail. They are very interesting. I don't see a one point element on here, so that was missing. So please remember to do that. It can be something very small. You'll see when we look at the, those examples, it can be something very small. And we'll stop with the Bohemian. Now, this one is interesting because she has some things that have been close cut and she's chosen to put things that are in rectangles as well as things that are not cropped and put in boxes. So that adds a whole different element as well, very much in keeping with your bohemian design style. And the windows are lovely, and you'll see those later as well in her drawn example.